now let us just talk about the silyl protection which is probably one of the most important protecting groups in the for the hydroxyl group silyl protection second is silyl protection <clears throat> okay so in order to form the silyl protection what do we use we have an alcohol we take rsi3cl accordingly we choose the base either it could be 2,6 lutetine or disopropyl ethylamine we form this r dash o s i r r r here r can be you know r can be either r can be methyl here it can be it can be you know it can be methyl or it can be uh we, we are going to see we are going to see for the tbs tms they are different okay so let's just not discuss that okay and then these silyl protection these silyl protection are quite stable they are quite stable to uh, basic conditions acidic condition oxidation reduction so under variety of condition they are quite stable so that is why after benzene protection these are quite demanded these are demand these are in demand so and because of the fact that they can be very very easily you know incorporated in the molecule and when needed they can be easily taken out of the molecule as well okay so what are the ways by which this can be deprotected so what you have to do is any fluoride just remember any fluoride ion anything which is a source of fluoride is going to give you the alcohol back and what is the reason for that the simple reason being silicon oxygen bond is 111 kilocalorie per mole and silicon fluorine bond is 143 kilocalorie per mole you can clearly see the fluoride has a strong tendency for the silicon so as soon as this silicon fluoride bond is formed which is of more energy the previous silicon oxygen bond breaks so this in itself is a driving force for the reaction that is why the deprotection takes place in the condition of any fluoride salt that you use it could be tetrabutyl ammonium fluoride it could be cesium fluoride it could be potassium fluoride it could be it could be anything it could be any other you know uh, uh, fluoride salt that you use select fluor select fluor okay select fluor which is a fluorinating agent that, that can also be used to you know deprotect the uh, silyl groups as well so you need to just keep in mind what we are using now let us just talk about the most basic silyl protection that we use which is TMS ROTMS in which you have all the three protecting groups are methyl I would say these TMS groups are probably very good when they came initially and these are very good when you are talking when we you know generally consider the enolate chemistry or in the case of the acyline condensation when we prepared the di TMS derivative otherwise these are not very stable to basic condition not very stable to acidic condition they are somewhere you know you can say in between because they can they can be easily cleaved with you know let us suppose if you are using HCl they can go cleaved with HCl or TFA of course and if you talk about base then potassium carbonate methanol if you take they can be easily cleaved in fact if you have this alkyne TMS and you add potassium carbonate methanol then what this is what you will end up getting a simple alkyne so you can clearly see that these are not probably one of the best protecting groups in chemistry but yes these were one of the early protecting groups that were used in the protection and especially they are of major use whenever we wish to carry out the Mukayama and all reaction or the in the enolate chemistry okay so let's just discuss about the TBS ether let us just discuss about the TBS ether okay let's just see TBS ether Tarshibutyl TBS ether is R O S I Tarshibutyl dimethyl silane so this can be represented as pb dms or tbs simply okay again method of deprotection is absolutely the same any fluoride 
any fluoride you will get the starting material but these TBS these are quite stable as far as TBS are concerned they are quite stable to acidic base are under other variety of condition that is why they are the protecting group of choice let us suppose if I have this if I have this TBS O NH BOC if I am using PBAF or let us just add OACetate as well. Let us just take this molecule. In fact, this question has been asked already asked in the net exam. Suppose if I am using PBF, then I know this is what I am going to get NH BOC. Okay. If I use potassium carbonate methanol, then I will get PBSO NH BOC. OH because I know this is an acetate, this is an ester which is susceptible to the basic condition. Suppose if I add HCl, I will get PBS O NH2 plus HCl salt. Okay, this is what I will get. Or you can simply write it as amine. So it means under acidic condition, this is going to deprotect. Same would be the case if you use TFA. Here, apart from potassium covered, any other base like KOH, same would have been the product. Okay. So these are the things that you have to keep in mind that we can play around with the protection, deprotection chemistry. Let us just take one more big example. Let us consider all the situation. Let us have OTBS, OTMF, NHBOC, NHCBZ, OBenzyl, o, o benzoyl. Let us just consider this situation. Let us see what happens. Can we play around with the condition and try and understand the chemistry? Let us just see what happens. Big molecule. Now this will really test our knowledge of protection, deprotection chemistry. TBF. In presence of TBF, which will go fluoride. We know that TBS, TMS. They have a strong. These are the silyl protection. They have a strong affinity for the fluoride. Benzyl fine. Benzoyl, benzoyl fine. Benzyl fine. CBZ is fine. Bock is fine. So which one is going to go? It is. TBS and TMS. TMS, they are going to be knocked off. They are going to go. Let us take the next one. Okay. H2 PDC. Hydrogenation condition. Hydrogenation condition, this is fine. This is fine. Bock is fine. Benzoyl is fine. But we know that benzyl is going to be, and apart from that, the CBZ is also. CBZ protection group is nothing but this one. Okay. And if we follow my chapter on the uh, chemistry of the uh, protecting group for the amines, and you will know this can also be cleaved under hydrogenation condition. So it is going to be benzyl and CBZ, which is going to go. Now look at this HCl. What I said that under HCl condition, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. TBS is fine, but Bock is going to go, and apart from that, TMS is also going to go. So TMS and Bock. So we have to understand which group is stable under which condition. Okay, so potassium carbonate, methanol, okay, or base like KOH if I use, all of them are quite fine except TMS and benzoyl. So TMS and benzoyl, these are this is the ester protecting group and this is the silyl which is can be easily cleaved under the basic condition. So these are the kind of questions that are usually asked in the net exam. So that is where the, your, the clear knowledge of which protecting group is stable under which condition is clearly tested. If you follow the content that I said, then you are going to clearly crack the every question that is asked in the exam. So let us just see other functional groups. Also, for example, in the case of the silyl protection, if you want to carry out the protection of, let us say, primary alcohol, which will take place much faster as compared to secondary, which will be much faster as compared to tertiary. So this is just no-brainer, okay? <coughs> this is the silylation order. Okay, for the TBS protection, this is for the TBS protection, okay? And suppose if you want to carry out the protection of the tertiary amine, then at times you may also see the use of reagent like TBS deflate 2 6 lutadine. Okay. Because this is since this is tertiary in nature, what do you need is you need the more reactive region. So TBS deflate is far more reactive. 
So that's the only thing that is important over here. Let us take one more example. Here, what do we have is. O M M P H P T B S. Okay. So the condition that is given to us is first is P B F. The second is acetic acid. Just let me write water. T H F. The third is T I C L four or zinc bromide. This is the condition that is given to us. Okay, so we have to figure out under which condition it is going to go. So just we are no, we are going to study about these protecting group. These are the acetyl protecting group. We are going to study about these protecting group as well, and we are going to know that these are not very stable under the acidic condition. This is something that we are going to learn. So under T B F, we know that it is T B S which is going to go under acetic acid or this. Water under acidic acid water condition, we are going to learn that it is a THP protecting group which is going to go, or both will remain. And the MAM protecting group, which is methoxy ethoxy methyl, it can be cleaved with the presence of the Lewis acids like TiCl4, zinc bromide. Okay, so we can clearly see by playing around the condition, we can get the desired result. Okay, <clears throat> what else? Apart from that, you will also see. So it, since we talked about the protecting group, right? TBD, TBD, uh, TBS protecting group. Apart from that, you will also see the group that TBDPS, TIPS. Tips. The only uh, differences in the case of TBDPS group it is tertiary butyl diphenyl silane. Here, in the case of tips chloride, it is tertiary di triisopropyl. So. That's the only difference in the case of TBS since we have already read tertiary butyl dimethyl silane. As you can clearly see, this TBDPS this is far more stable under acidic condition than the TBS than the TBS, which is in turn far more stable than the TMS. So if we have to see the stability order of these protecting group under very strong acidic condition, then we will say that TBDPS is far far stronger than the TBS, which is far far stronger than the TMS. So this is going to be the order of their stability, and this is also a protecting group that is used for the uh, cell protection. Although this is very expensive as compared to the TBS, okay. And only in certain cases this is used. And also we can see there it has two phenyl group. So at times whenever you want to carry out uh, some sort of a, uh, when you have a regioselectivity issues and whenever you wish to carry out the asymmetric induction, then at times we place these functional these protecting group. So because of their bulk, they occupy quite a space. Okay, so this is one of the reasons. Otherwise, the method of protection and the method of deprotection is absolutely same. Okay. So coming back to the question that I asked at the start of my video, that what is going to be the product of this particular reaction? Okay, so we clearly see what do we have is two TBDMS protected alcohols. So this is a cell protection, and we are using a fluoride. So what we said that fluoride has a very high affinity for the silk silic or it is going to be protected. Okay, so this what do we end up getting is this one two three. Okay. But I said, this is what we should get. But instead of this one, what do we end up getting is this. This is the product that we end up getting for this reaction. So this is the correct answer. So this is called the spiroketalization. Spiroketalization, and it is very very important because I feel it is high time that such questions are going to be asked in the net exam. Okay. So the reaction does not stop here. It goes one step further because this pyroketalization it brings extra stability. So if in this case, suppose if the chirality has been given, if these compounds were chiral, let us suppose if these were both uh, beta, then it would have been like that. And accordingly, we uh, the let us say what is the confirmation here? It is one, two, three. This is R. 
it is 1 2 3 this is r okay because 1 2 3 1 2 3 r so in both these sides it is r so here it is 1 2 3 r so it what it should be it should be this here also it should be 1 this should be okay so on this side this should be 1 okay this should be 2 this should be 3 so it should be this one okay so this would be the stereochemistry of the product or this can also be asked in the exam in this way okay you should keep this in mind so on next to this one we have a methyl and here next to this one we have a methyl group now or this if this is written in this or let me just write it in a different way so that it is easier for you to understand okay so here next to this oxygen we have a methyl group and next to this oxygen we have a methyl group you can show the pseudochemistry like this one and here you can show the pseudochemistry like this one now <clears throat> always remember one thing this oxygen is actual because of the anomeric effect anomeric effect okay and these chiral center is going to dictate the chirality at this center okay this chiral center is going to dictate the pseudochemistry at this particular center and it is this confirmation which is going to be right suppose if you are in your answer agar aap ye likh dete hain agar aap ye likh dete hain so this would be wrong answer because we know that oxygen would stay at the axial position because of the anomeric effect. Okay, and these two centers will remain as such. Suppose we have talked about how many centers are there? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, sorry, one, two, three, four. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have a six-membered ring, and we have one, two, three, four, five, five-membered ring. So that is why we have this. 6 5 spiroketal product okay suppose instead of this one agar hum isko aur ek badha dete isko o t b s kar dete 1 2 3 1 2 3 aur is case ke andar hum p b f se treat karte aur kitne hamare paas 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 to ab hamare is case mein kya banega hamare case mein ye banega aapka ab okay so it is going to be this one Okay, so this is going to be the product that you are going to get in this particular case. बहुत याद रखना है चीज़, बहुत important ये example है. Apart from TBF, what we can ask you is the mom group here. Mom group here. अगर आपको mom group पूछा गया है, here they are going to write some sort of an acid over here. So mechanism is absolutely simple. The product is simple. So इसको हम क्या कहते हैं? इसको हम कहते हैं spiroketalization. यहाँ पर आपको मॉम होगा कुछ भी होगा सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर हम एक एक इसको हम अगर इस प्रॉब्लम को ब्रेक कर देना तो हम क्या कहते हैं हम कीटोन और हम क्या लेते हैं डायोल लेते हैं दिस इज व्हाट वी डू राइट दिस इज व्हाट वी डू व्हेन वी प्रोटेक्ट दिस कीटोन एस डायोल व्हाट डू वी एंड अप गेटिंग इज दिस एसिडल लीकेज दिस इज व्हाट वी एंड अप गेटिंग अगर हमारे सेम मॉलिक्यूल के अंदर ही हमारा कीटोन है और डायोल है सेम मॉलिक्यूल में तो वो क्या होगा वो आपका स्पायरोकीटोल होके आपका ये बना देगा अगर हम इसको डीप्रोटेक्ट करके देखें तो बीच में आपका क्या कीटोन है और डायोल है और यहां पर भी तो हम ये करते हैं ये हम क्या कर रहे हैं दिस इज व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज इंटर मॉलिक्यूल दो मॉलिक्यूल्स को पकड़ के इंटर मॉलिक्यूलर कर रहे हैं यहां पर ये क्या हो रहा है इंट्रा मॉलिक्यूलर हो रहा है मॉलिक्यूल के अंदर ही ओएच प्रेजेंट है तो साइक्लाइज होके आपको स्पायरोकीटोल प्रोडक्ट बनाते हैं ठीक है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जांपल है एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन ओके थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर वाचिंग द वीडियो and share it with your friends comment on the video and let me know about the content whether you liked it or not and most importantly subscribe to the channel thanks a lot have a nice day